Hi, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see how we can check our test uh, reports that are getting generated. We are using Allure plugin for testing uh, testing reports. So we are going to see how we can see those reports. In our previous tutorial, we executed and uh, write our first test case and executed it. So let me rerun it once again. So if I rerun it once again, you can see that it is now running initiating test and now after running it you will be able to see that it got passed so you can see here test passed one of one now soon as this execution is completed this new report and this new folder gets created allure results and if you will take a look at the content of this allure results folder all these files are of json type so um, we need to perform certain steps to view these results because are because these results are in JSON format. So these are not directly viewable. So for that, what we need to do is we need to go to our PowerShell and we need to install basically our Allure on Windows. So to install Allure, we first need to uh, install our uh, Scoop. Scoop is a utility and to install a Scoop, what we need to do, we need to go to the PowerShell and type this command. And once we type this command, we will press and enter. And we need to, here we need to write yes, yes to all. Uh, we need to give basically, I am writing here, I am giving the permission. So it basically wants the uh, permission. So I have given the permission. Now, after giving the permission, we need to execute this command. So this command is another command. This command will um, install the scoop on my windows platform scoop is basically a utility uh, it is kind of uh, it is very similar to npm or other one so you can see that uh, here it is showing me that scoop is already installed run scoop update to get the latest version because scoop is already present on my machine so that's why it is showing it otherwise with this command we can install the scoop so once the scoop is installed we what we need to do we just need to go and uh, on the same powershell we need to type this command note this one we need to type this command basically scoop install allure uh, once we will type on the uh, one, type on this command i will update uh, will enter this command so it will download and install the allure uh, in our background after this what will happen is so it is taking time so once it gets installed, then we can do it. So now it has been uh, Allure is already installed, and because Scoop Allure is already installed on my machine, that's why that's why it is showing me this uh, message. Otherwise, we need to do this this command and these two other commands. So um, once we are ready with the Scoop, uh, so what we need to do is we need to um, go here and we uh, we need to type Allure. Once we will type Allure, we will be able to see many different options. Allure serve, serve the report, Allure open, Allure plugin. So what we need to do here is we need to type Allure and then uh, we need to type serve and we need to give the path of this folder. So path of this folder is Allure results folder, the complete path of this folder. So this one in my case and then allure results so once i will enter this command what it will do uh, whatever the allure results contain basically allure result contains all of the json files so it will uh, convert those json file into html file and now you can see that generating report to temp directory report successfully generated so so you can see that this is how uh, this report got generated and inside this report uh, i can go through different options that are available with overview it will give me the overview of my whatever the my test results are there it is showing me only one test case because we have written only one test case and we can see here default test suite default suite has only one test case and this is how it has taken around two seconds and this is all all of the detail and here it will give the history when we will run it multiple times it will give the history like how many time it passed failed and retries will give me the how many time it has been retried graph will give different type of graphs present here duration 
CVRT and all that stuff and different graphs are there. So it is a very beautiful uh, report which is generated with the help of LEO. We can uh, explore more on it, but uh, since we are in the initial stage or beginner level, so this uh, report is good enough for this point of time. So that's all for this uh, tutorial. See you in the next one.